So, we are into our second Halloween video of the year. And anybody who knows me knows this is my time of year. So, last time we did Heath Ledger's Joker S. Uh, Mrs. J, if you will. Today, I want to do the Harley's Revenge Harley. I love the Harley's Revenge portion of the Arkham game. So, this should be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a headband. Tame this hair. Get it up and out of the way. I have already primed my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to fill in my eyes with a jumbo eye pencil. Give me just a moment and I'll be right back because for some reason I can't find my coffee bean. All right, I'm back. Found my coffee bean. So I'm just gonna use this to go ahead and prime most of the eye. She does still have some white coming up underneath her brow, so I don't want to completely fill that area in in black. And if it gets under the eye, that's okay. I'm probably gonna go ahead and drag some under there anyway, because this is a very smudged out, smoky look. All right, I know we're looking a little crazy, a little bit like a drag queen. It's okay, it's gonna come together, trust me. I'm gonna go ahead and take my milk pencil. As that touches the black, I am gonna kinda wipe it off a little bit. Okay, we have a base, kind of. Now we're gonna put a base on our face. I've already primed my face, so I'm just gonna start going in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage uh, High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation in GLM641 White. And I am tapping this on with a sponge because I want an even application. I can always go in and add more coverage. Build it up. But right now I'm just going for even. And we know Harley does not drag her foundation down her neck, though she should. a desirable level of pasty whiteness. Now I'm going to set all this pasty whiteness. Big fluffy brush. Baby powder. I'm not going to waste good powder on a Halloween look. It's just, it's not happening. But baby powder? Girl, it sets that shit in place anyway. I will say this, do not breathe when setting your face with baby powder. You do not want to inhale it. 
And because baby powder is stark white, it helps to set down that white finish. And even things, ooh, listen to me making all this noise. And even things out. I do have a photo of Harley in front of me for reference just so that I can keep this as close to the game as possible. Whew. My nose itches. Ooh, where's that powder brush? Oh. I feel better. All right. Now I'm going to slightly contour the cheeks. She doesn't have a lot of contour, but she does have some color there. So I do want to still bring that in. And I'm using a cool toned contour. So as not to take away from the whiteness of the look. I want the shadow to show but I still want to see the white. There we go. That is all the contour I'm doing. That's it. No more. Then I need to blush up. Where is my blush palette? Mm -hmm. Over here. Not where I thought it was. I should have known. I'm the one that organized this space. Now she's got kind of a peachy blush. I don't know why Harley's peachy, but Harley's peachy. So I'm gonna go into some peachy blushes definitely tap off the excess. I'm kind of punching the color up for you guys so that you can see it on camera. I probably would not do it this bright if I were actually going out in this look. but I want you guys to be able to see it. Okay, now we can get into the fun part. Like this is a very simple Harley, but like, I love her, so I had to. Now we're going to set this black with some black shadow, who knew? All right, now that we've set the black, we're going to do the same thing with a white. I'm just going to go right over the white right here. I know, we're looking very drag, very Trixie Mattel. And that's okay. Now I'm going to grab my coffee bean, no black bean, why do I keep calling it coffee bean? And I'm going to go under the eyes. Basically, I'm gonna darken up my under eye bag. And I'm gonna run that right up to my waterline. and into the waterline. Just 
just like before. I'm gonna set that in place with some black shadow. Any black shadow will do. The one I'm using happens to be a very pigmented shadow out of a very pigmented palette that I do not want to discuss on my channel simply because of the controversy and drama surrounding it. And it doesn't matter. Get outside the lines with this one because this is a very Harley's look is normally pretty well put together. This is not our usual Harley girl. Now that I've got that, I'm going to take, if I can find the brush, this brush right here is just a flat top blending brush, concealer brush, and I'm going to start dragging eyeshadow down my face. It's very haphazard. I know the idea was to make it look like Harley had been crying. We all know she blames Batman for Joker's death in the series, in the games. Basically, if you have any fallout while you're doing the black shadow, it kind of helps. I'm going to take a fluffy brush gonna get one out of my Halloween brushes. And I'm going to take a dense little brush and dip into the black shadow. and deepen up right in the middle of the smudges. Which since I didn't put black bean under them, this will help darken up where they're coming off of the main eye. And may help them blend better. The fun part. Harley has a shroud on in the games. I do not have said shroud. So, I'm going to attempt to draw this on. So I'm going to start with a teeny tiny little eyebrow pencil. And draw in the basic shape. Pray for me guys. actually set this in place. With liquid liner. Now 
we really need to pray for me. That was kind of intense, not gonna lie. Now, I'm going to go in between and do like the cross hatch of the lace. There we go. That's what I wanted. Liquid eyeliner. For some reason, I can control this so much better when it's a gel than I can with an eyeliner pen. I don't know why, but I just can. So that's what I'm going to use to put in like the crosshatch of the lace. I'm more or less just putting in the suggestion of the crosshatch. Okay. Now I'm going to give a shadow under the edge of it to make it look like an actual piece of something being worn. To do that, I'm going to need some gray on my gray. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, dip it into a light gray, tap off the excess, and I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the shadow and the piece of material. Well, what I want to look like material. Just for a moment. dense brush, I'm going to take a deeper shade of gray. I'm going to go right up along the edge. And pull that shading out. I want to create that depth so that it raises up off the skin. And then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush that I was using with the lighter gray and I'm going to kind of blend the edge of that deeper gray into the lighter gray. I'm not adding any more product. just creating a blend, a diffused blend. There we go. Really liking where this is going. All right. Final touch is going to be to line the lip and put on the black lipstick. It's the actually the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner Eyeliner in Fishnet. I'm gonna use it as lip liner. Why? Because makeup is fun and we can do with it what we want. That's why I'm lining my lips. I knew I'd make a mistake. 
Yeah. Was one thing I didn't want to do. Ooh, look at that. I got a black mustache. If there was one thing I didn't want to do, it was make a mistake with the black liquid lip. And I did just slightly overdraw my lips. Just ever so slightly. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in Widow's Peak. This came out with their Fantasy Maker Collection in 2017. I still love it. And this is another reason why I did the lips with a pencil. I noticed that one side was just the tiniest little bit off. Alright, I'm going to take the hair down, throw it up in some Harley pigtails, and I'll be back. And we're back. I went ahead and I put a little bit of red in the tip of one of the pigtails because Harley does have red in one of her pigtails. My Harley costume is currently in a box at my mom's somewhere. This red body paint has yet to dry, so it's getting everywhere. But we have finished Harley's Revenge. I love this. You guys, I love this so much. It's so cute. And it's just, it's, she lost her point. She needs to find a way to make up for losing a point. I feel like my hairline's a little light right here by this. Oh, it's a good thing it is hair washing day. All these products up and around and near my hairline, in my hair. There we go. So there we have it. Harley's Revenge. Gotta go get me, man. Okay, I know my Harley sucks. I used to be really good. And then I stopped doing it. But I used to be really good at it. And if you guys want to get even more like gruesome with it, there is one where um, her face is covered in blood. Um, an image, because I grabbed a couple of screen captures because I wanted to get this right. But it's really hard to see this part on her forehead. Look, I even have a choker on. So I'm going to insert pictures so you guys can uh, get an up-close look at this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, and happy spoopies.